and welcome back to the flight deck of Mission Parvaz, uh, looking at the Honeywell Apex system. Um, now, on the multifunction display, we have a lot of information, and we can just tap into it. Now, we're going today to uh, the Clark's Air Base, the former U.S. Air Base here in Philippines for a fuel stop before we head out to Taiwan. But look at this. Now, this is the VOR at Clark's. It's called CIA, well, appropriately named. But um, if I want to talk about uh, the airport, we're going to RPNC, which is uh, Clark's. All I have to do is click here. And I can pretty much uh, look for the information. No info. Okay, they're calling us. Number 9854 Zulu, go ahead, control. All right, fly direct to Mike India Alpha, November 9854 Zulu. Perfect, we give you an example here in real time now. I've just been told to go to Mike India Alpha. This is right here, okay, and they've told me to go there, proceed direct. So I just hit direct to and just hit activate and we are already on nav mode up here and so we automatically head out that way so the airplane starts turning uh, to intercept that course and go to our next uh, reporting point and now going back quickly to the airport information i was talking about i can just go there they show info now immediately i have everything that i really need I have the elevation of the uh, airfield, I have the, uh, the runway, uh, it has 10,499 feet of uh, concrete that I can land on, and uh, so pretty much everything is right here. And if I go here from journal, I can just collect here, uh, and see I have the runway information, more detailed about the runway, the lighting, everything over here. I can then also choose to look at the VHF frequencies. So I now have the ATIS frequency here. I have uh, the approach control, the tower at clock. Everything is here just at a click of a button using the mouse, the cursor that we have here on the Apex Honeywell. And with that, it's over and out from the flight deck of Mission Parvaz.